Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Margaret. For those of you who don't know me, I am from the Netherlands and I am doing the 100 day project. And today is day 69. And as you can see, I have a prototype on my desk. This is not at all how it's going to look like because I want to do it a completely different way. But the basic structure is here. I'm going to use an envelope, a windowed envelope and do some flippy floppies, pocket thingies. And when we're finished, it's going to have seven pockets. You can have this as a side tuck in your journal or a belly band in your journal, or you can have it like this and just give it to a friend. Let's get started. This is the envelope that I'm using for this project. This is what they call an A5 envelope. It's a windowed envelope. I will give you some measurements just in case your envelope is a different size. This is six by eight and a half inches, right? Yeah, I coffee dyed this one. This was a new one. I have a whole box full of these. Um, that I coffee dyed, you could use like uh, something you got in the mail, junk mail, a mailer, or what, whatever you have at hand. I want to cut some pieces down. If you have the exact same size as this one, you can follow my measurements. If you don't, just eyeball it a little bit. What I basically want to do is take off a piece of this side and a piece of this side and leave some room on both sides of the edges of the window. This is, I believe, in centimeters, one and a half centimeters, so it's like three quarters of an inch, just about. You can have this smaller or bigger. However, do not leave a tiny bit because of this bit over here, we will be making the pockets. And you have, if you have like a very small strip, then you're going to have very small pockets. Which also could work because then you could probably have three pockets on here or whatever and maybe you have like a bigger one because the uh, window is more up here i don't know what your envelope is going to look like this is mine so i'm going to cut some pieces off i am starting with two inches from this side yeah so i'm going to have a big strip over here that is two inches wide there you go. And now this bit needs to be the same as this bit. I cannot do that in inches because it's between this and this. And so I just measured it in centimeters. All you need to know is it needs to be the same size. If you're doing the exact measurements, have it at two and three quarters. Yeah, that's where this point is. If you really want the measurements. There you go. So. This is the base. We will be using this, probably not this, but keep it anyway because it's if you have a coffee dyed, it's beautiful coffee dyed paper. Good, so that is sort of the base for our project. What I want to do is have some beautiful paper on the inside and then make two flaps, one that goes this way and one that goes that way. Yeah, I'm going to start with the flaps. Right, I want to fold a little bit, a tiny bit, like um, half an inch or something, maybe a little bit more, like so. And I am going to put it over this bit over here. And then I will just measure it with my eyes and my pencil, making a mark where this ends, like so. And then cutting this down. It's not it's not really hard. It's not really that hard. There we go. Putting it straight up in this line. Pocket number one. That will go on over here like so. Will that fit? Yes, it does. Pretty. Now. The other one, I'm taking the other side of the envelope because this one part is already closed. There you go. Another one, for another fold over. Having it like so. Taking up my pencil. There you go. Sometimes I feel like this cutter doesn't really cut that straight. Not this time it does. Good. 
you have a pocket here and we have a pocket here now we need this pocket over here i'm going to fold it up i ended it over here i want to end this one a little bit closer to the window see i want to have a little bit of a bigger pocket like so what else you can do if you have a journal at hand that you want to have this in as a belly band you want the length of this piece to be the exact length of your page just put it on your page and then you just measure how tall or short you want it to be i don't have a um, journal at hand i'm just going to have it over here because that just looks nice to me good right now let's do some decorating i have beautiful papers for you i'll be right back because the envelope is already tea dyed or coffee dyed in this case i do not have to cover the whole bit i just want to have the envelope the color as the background i want to do some stamping on it to do a little bit of a background and then lots of decorating with beautiful antique papers let me tell you first where the inspiration for the decoration came from today. This morning I saw a post by my friend Barbara from Bybar, a paper lover on Instagram. I'll link her Instagram below. She had this post that is a collage of some uh, scraps that she had left over for some previous uh, projects. And I was totally in love with that one. I do not know how to insert a picture yet. Maybe I'll do that in the future. But it was amazing. And I was like, that is my goal. My goal for today is to do something like that. She used some beautiful um, antique papers. And especially some like bits like this. These, these are, um, I believe it's called bearer bonds or something. It's bonds, it's stocks and I don't know. Uh, these are old, these are vintage, these are real. These are from, well, a long time ago. Is there a date on here? I don't even see a date. But I want to use some bits and pieces just to decorate. And then I also have this piece of paper that came in uh, an order, I believe, from Happy Mail. I, I'm sorry, I cannot remember who this was from. Uh, I love this color and this paper, some sort of um, vellum. And I have these parts that I really like to use. Some very old magazine. I love, for instance, this bit. And there are some bits on here that I really like. This came from a book, an old book. Just a piece of paper. And then I have all these old ledger ones. And this, look at that. That's just, somebody wrote on here. It's amazing. Yeah, so I want to use bits and pieces. And then I want to show you this. And, um, and this is a big surprise. I will be scanning this. I have scanned this. Well, I have copied this on my beautiful, wonderful copy scanner printer thing. Um, because I love every bit of this. And I want to use... Well, I'm not going to use the original. I just want to use the bits that are in here. Uh, I scanned them and then printed them out. Like so, I did some experimenting because of the color and the settings and such. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use parts of these, and also I will be making scans as a present, as some sort of a giveaway. You do not have to like enter a competition, but I am so very close to 1000 subscribers. I could cry because i thought this would happen like in december or something so um when i reach 1000 subscribers um i'm going to give this as a giveaway the scans that is not the original because love so that is what i'll be using now let's go on to the real decorating before I will do all the flippy flaps, I want to do some light stamping on this piece and on this pocket just a tiny bit um, to give a little bit more of a background. I am using a lighter color of ink than I normally do. This is vintage photo. I could go even lighter like tea dye or a bit more orangey like peanut butter brittle or something. Um, but I thought let's do vintage photo. I want to have something underneath. I am covering the acetate bit. 
um, because I do not want any ink to be on there. Please stay. There you go. Already picked out some stamps. Um, my stamps are basically almost all from AliExpress, from different sorts of sets. See, just some scripties here and there. Yeah, and I also have this bit has some numbers. Yep, and let's have this bit over here. What else do I have? Oh yeah, this says number 12 dressmaker. I really like that one because um, I think the theme of this is going to be some sort of Victorian fashion <laughs> uh, because of the ladies on the cover. Yeah, let's have this here and then, you know, basically my favorite stamp. So this side is done. Let's do the top bit. And have something else, what I have here. Uh, let's do this one. I already picked some out. And that saves a lot on time. Yep, upside down, but that's okay. <laughs> it's just going to be some background stamping. Some scripty bits. Yes, what else do I have? This is also nice. It says postal card or something like this. Yeah, another dressmaker. Let's have another dressmaker on here. And this says Paris. That would also be very nice on here. Which way is up? We can have it that way. Paris and number 12 yeah what would we be without numbers the number 12 on here yep and then the bottom part this is also some sort of I don't know advertisement I don't know I don't know yep and then scripty bits here And um, some dots, some dots. That's my cat. <laughs> What's going on, Lovey? You see a bird in the garden and now she's angry because this is my garden bird. Go away. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Gonna have this over here. Some of this. You want another Paris on here? Sure. It's probably gonna get covered because I want to add some bits of paper. Is it going to be upside down? No. There is. And the uh, last scripty bit. There you go. Decorated. <laughs> well, we could stop now. Basically, this is fine. But I want to add some bits and pieces. Um, shall we do some of the decorating on here? Well, let's just do let's just do that. We're we're here now. We're here now. So, yeah. So yeah, guys. Let me tell you. Um, I woke up this morning and I am like at nine fifty or something. The subscribers. <laughs> I was like, what? What is going on? I really did not expect that to happen, uh, but I am very happy about it. Extremely happy. Yeah, that really motivates me, I must say. That really does. Where's the other piece? There we go. Another one of this advertisement. Yes, a bit of this. Which way is up? Oh, that way. Scripty and Scripty and where's my number 12? 
that's over 12 on here it's probably going to get covered up but that's okay did we do all the bits we did do all the bits good that's it for the stamping for now before i want to do some gluing i need to cut one piece open still the top part i am just going to take off just the time you could also like put your knife in and cut it open like so but that always goes wrong with me so take out your scissors or what have you i am just going to use my biscuit knife this sliver um for two reasons one i want to have this as a pocket i'm going to make a notch in here and that is much easier to do when it is not glued down uh, also i want to make a notch here and that is also much easier when it's not glued down so let's do this bit first i do not want to have the notch to go all the way um, through the two layers like i did here i just want it in the top layer let's see if the pocket is going to be over here so i want to have a small notch here luckily i have this tiny tiny circle punch this is half an inch as always i'm eyeballing the middle and there you go i will distress it doesn't need a lot of distressing because it's already coffee dyed so and that's okay then i want to make a notch on the top i'm using my bigger punch for this this is a one inch i cannot tell you how happy i am with these punches i was very hesitant in the beginning to buy these because i was like it it cuts a circle why you need to pay so much money for a device that cuts a circle i mean you have scissors don't you yeah i do have scissors but not the ability to cut circles <laughs> I'm trying. I got some good tips uh, from you guys. Like, don't move your scissors, move the papers and such. And uh, that really, really helps. That really helps. Good. Before we glue this down, I want to have the beautiful lady on the inside. I have used... Um, what scan did I use? This lady over here. It's a beautiful hat. Already cut her a little bit to size. I'm going to attach her on the inside. Just place her where everyone will see her i also did not really go all the way to the bottom um because first of all why <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna glue her down over here also do not need to ink her anything let's have some sort of a glue book yeah no need for uh my art glitter glue i'm just gonna use some glue stick that's just fine So I hope you like these sorts of uh, papers. I love them. I keep searching for them all the time. Oh, what am, what am I doing? What am I doing? Where is she? Oh, is this, well, I hope, hopefully this is the right spot. I believe it is. Yeah. Eyeballing where that is. I love these sorts of magazines. These French antique magazines. These are from 18 whatever. 1883 i had a quick look 1883 that old yeah that old look at that isn't that pretty yeah um and sometimes i find like the books that are bound in and they're so expensive so expensive if you want a search a term for ebay or if you're in the netherlands marktplatz uh it's called demoiselle demoiselle how's my french yeah <laughs> pretty good huh <laughs> okay so uh what i want to do is glue these parts down but before i want to do that i want to make another pocket underneath here so like a secret pocket here yeah so that is why i am gluing this part down and for that i am going to take my art glitter glue i'm gluing this part down Yep. And then, oh, I'm probably out of frame. And this whole bit 
couple of reasons why I'm using art for this. Uh, first, it draws a very thin line. I am not really very good at going straight. And also, it really glues down the acetate. Uh, there are some glues that just won't glue down the acetate. But this one does. So it's glued on both sides and on this bit here because we want to make another pocket there. No, what you doing? No, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. No, I am sorry, guys. Do not glue it down. Attention, attention. Do not glue it down. No, why? Um, why? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I want to have the flaps in. Oh, now I'm going to have the flaps on the outside. Sorry. <laughs> Proceed. Oh, dear me, dear me. Yeah. That's me in a nutshell. Well, I'm gluing it down again. Hopefully I won't regret it and I'll be like in, in a couple of seconds. No, no, I was going to have that on the inside. But I probably won't, I probably won't. No, I'm going to attach it to the bottom part of this. So there's going to be pocket here and here covering her face. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to have the, those on here. Because these are going to be stuck to um, a journal anyway, so... No problem, no problem. We did put this thing in here. We did put this thing in here. Yeah. So, sorry guys. I am attaching this pocket as well to this bit. Yes. Yep. And then I want to attach these flaps. Over here and here. Is it upside down? No, it's not upside down. You just see like a tiny, tiny bits just coming through. I need to trim this. Do you want to ink it? Do we want to ink it? I don't know. No, probably not. Do you want better scissors? Yes, we, we'd love to have better scissors. These are rubbish. But they did the trick. So, I am going to glue this down. Look at the beautiful, yummy... Yes, love, I know! <laughs> She's really angry with the birds. Go away, birds. Or, mama, let me outside so I can play with the birds. She's so cute when she does that. Scooch it over. Scooch it over. I just want to position it where you see some glimpse yeah, of the acetate. We also need to glue these pockets over here. But we can do that once they're on. Needs to be closer to the envelope. I am sorry, guys. I am just fumbling now. Concentrate, Margaret. You can do it. Concentrate. Yes. Yep. It's on. This is not as hard as I will make it look. <laughs> this is actually pretty easy. I am just making it hard on myself. Gluing this bit down as well. There you go. And the other side. Did we make notches in here? No. Why? Because I have another idea. Yeah, I had another idea for this. Yep. Well, that is assembly for now. But this goes all the way. Yeah, this goes this way and this way and it won't stay down. No, that's why we have, like, we need a large sort of tag. Let me get a cute little girl for now. When you put this in, it will automatically hold all the flaps. 
See? How cute is she? <laughs> She's so cute. Good. Let's do some more decorating. I think the assembly part is done by now. Let's do some decorating. To indicate that there's a flap here, I want to attach these um, die cuts. These are like supposed to be like Polaroid frames or something. I never use them for that purpose. But I like to attach that here. So you can have it as a sort of a tab. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I have two of those. So one here and one here. And I have all these yummy, yummy, yummies. I have some beautiful old papers. I already... Um, ripped some pieces out just to save a little bit on time. I have some old tickets. These are actually um, the tickets that I got in Happy Mail. These, see, I just put some ink over it and now they're vintage. So that is a good thing. And I have some like sentences, journal illustrate de la famille. Yeah. Illustrated magazine for the whole family. I want to have that over here. Let's just start with that. Great. So yeah, this is going to be a sort of a collage. If you do not enjoy collages. I'm sorry. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and also. Yeah, I forgot to ink the, the stamp the insides of these. So I did that for you on off camera. And let's have this over here. I like that bit. And when we do have the tap thingies over there, yeah, I want to have something on it. And I could have like this. Yeah, I am going to have that because that is absolutely beautiful. I do love numbers. And then we want to have some something underneath, like... Can we have some assistance, please? These are vintage. Aren't they cool? Yeah. I was cleaning up my craft room yesterday and then I found those again somewhere way in the back. And I was like, why? Why are you way in the back? You should be like on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, I want this to be over here. And then I want to have a small collage underneath with some bits. See, like so. And what Barbara also did was use this. Yeah, I love that. I want to have a tiny bit on this. Yeah. Okay, I'm gluing stuff down. Otherwise... This will take forever. And then this paper on here. This paper is from, like, I think uh, the fax, the chain paper is called chain paper it's all bound together and it flips open it goes through a fax i believe it's like very obsolete Ooh. but i wanted to have the number 20 on here so i have a whole bunch of that and then i coffee dyed some and i'm, I'm mostly using the strips and not so much the paper <laughs> Do want to position this a little bit so that it will be like in a frame yep have that over here and then attach this with art i really enjoy uh, finding um, some die cuts that can function for other things that that they're meant for like these polaroid shaped things i will never use that i don't even know why i bought it it was in a set with probably like a few mass a few master thingy and um, film strip thingy probably something like that 
Yes, I like that. Now you stay close over here. And then we'll turn to this bit. Let's do something different here. I have this old bus ticket thingy. Have that like so. Something underneath. Oh, I also have this. Ooh. Oh no, let's have that on top. Yes, I want to have that on the top. Need to be smaller. Well, that fit. Oh, need to lose this bit. Another number on here. Yes. Lovely, 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 lovely. The six over here. Oh, what else do we have? Number three to three. I'm going to ink this if I could find my. Oh, here it is. Yep. Inking this as well. These are bus tickets. These are, I believe, from the UK. If I am not mistaken. And I buy them on Instagram from my friend Leonie at Up Junk Journal Paper Store. <laughs> I keep forgetting your, the, the name of your store, Leonie. I'm sorry. I have this over here and then this piece over there. Yep. Well, there's another number on the back. Like so. Do we need more? Oh, it needs to go all the way over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have this. No, that's a bit much. Just keep it like this. Yeah. I'm going to have it. Oops. I'm just going to throw all my stuff around. Like so. Look at all the lovely grunginess. Probably gonna have something over here as well. That goes off the page. Flap it over. Yep. It says 1944 on this. That is not Victorian at all. But we're not gonna look at that. No. no. And then let's have a little piece. This stuff over here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. See, I told you most of it was going to be covered up. But that's okay. Let's have something on the bottom. Like what? Small piece of this. Oh, I have this. Here in Fein. That is not in Paris. No. That is in the northern part of the Netherlands. Barbara, of course, did some sewing. Yeah. Good for you, Barbara. <laughs> I do not sew. Also, I have no room in my craft room for sewing. Oh, look at that on the back. No, don't look. Don't look on the back. Don't look on the back. Close your eyes. Close your eyes when you glue it down. Yeah, just close your eyes. And there we go. Checked. Hmm. Something French. Un planche de patron. I don't know. I don't know. My French is rubbish. I'm sorry. 
if you are from French and I am like totally ruining your language, I do apologize. I do apologize. And have this piece on here. Just some sort of random collaging. Yeah. With small bits. Let's also do something on the inside. I want to cover this bit up like so. Yep. Why is your art critically open? Don't do that. Oopsies. Again, uh, this is a ticket from Leonie. This is, uh, I think, Russian. Covering up this bit. What does this say? Something Amsterdam. Need to lose a bit of this. It is too big. from an old magazine I need to lose another bit I'm sorry pretty bit I just need to cut this off gluing this on the bottom and then breaking it up with a circle Here you go. What we're gonna do on this part? Uh, I have this. That is like almost a perfect fit. Not really. Snippy over here. Again, why am I taking these scissors? Because I found them yesterday when I was cleaning my room. Oh, cleaning. Reorganizing some bits. And now I know why I put it somewhere that I couldn't find it because they are rubbish. They were absolute rubbish, so I put them somewhere where I couldn't find them. That will work. This is I have a punch that makes these. I have no idea why I have that, probably because I found it in a thrift shop or something. Yeah. What else can we put on here? Something French again? Yeah. These are all from the scans of the magazine. I just got some random pieces out that looked interesting to me. Okie dokie. I'm going to have this piece in here. With the numbers yeah that looks great so that's the decorating part i need one two three four tags five five so here's where we are so far i did do some more decorating guys because i really wanted the green on here to be more like a reoccurring color so i did a couple more pieces here and there also on the inside just to have it a little bit more of the green. Now for tags. I have made a few. Let's start with the inside. I've made this one. This one was from the magazine that I've shown you. Yes, love. I love you too. <laughs> so it goes in like this. It says 1897. This was 1883. But you know, it's close enough. With this pop clip die cut, this is from AliExpress. If you want the link for that, ask me on, on Instagram. Somebody already asked me for that. Then we have the small um, pocket. I have the small tag for that. I made some tags. I'm sorry guys, I did this off camera because otherwise that would be a whole different video. With some numbers, some beautiful papers on there. Yep, that goes in here. And then this one. We have the middle tag, again, with some green, some ledger paper, some this beautiful brown vellum and uh, strip with the holes in here. Please go inside. Yeah, and there you go. Over here. And then the big one. 
you might recognize this from the big piece of brown vellum paper that i've shown you this was from a friend of mine i cannot remember which one it was because i have many um please dear friend if you're watching and you're like that's mine thank you <laughs> please comment below i love it so much that i wanted to have like a prominent place over here and then we have this small ticket again with this ball clip die cut in the secret pocket over here and then the smallest one over here and as you can see because this pocket is on front the this tag is on front nothing opens it stays closed so it's a flippy floppy uh belly band side tuck pocket <laughs> if you wish i really enjoyed making it I'd like to say a big thank you to Barbara uh, for the inspiration for, for today, uh, for the decorating. I love your collage. It is fantastically amazing. And uh, one day I'll be as good as you. And then um, I want to quickly mention this magazine again. I am going to do uh, scans of this and um, as much as possible. I'm not going to scan this because I love this. So I'm going to scan that. I don't know how many there will be, but it will be like a set, I guess. I'm not going to scan this because, well, that's just letters. So I think it's going to be four or five pages. Uh, and it's going to be a giveaway. Uh, I think I'll reach a thousand subscribers. That's insane. Um, maybe over this weekend. Maybe, maybe you could help. Subscribe and like and what have you. And then um, contact me. Um, on instagram because i will send the details where you can get it through the instagram because i have no idea how to do that on youtube yet i will in future i i promise i will in future and i will have lots more giveaways because i like to give away stuff guys thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with number 70 of this 100 day project see you then bye guys